Well, good morning, everyone. I hope that uh, your week's off to a great start. We're going to be in Psalm 30 this morning. And I just want to say this, that we need to praise the Lord at all times. Uh, we need to be bringing the praise to the Lord in our times of struggle, in our times of sorrow, uh, in our times of great success. Praising the Lord is something that we should have as not a habit that we do mindlessly, but a habit that we do with great joy, out of a great honor and respect to him, but also out of great love, because he does incredible things for us. And so Psalm 30 is a little reminder of that. And so just listen as I read the whole Psalm to you, and I'll, I'll comment as I usually do. And verse number one says, I will extol thee, O Lord, for thou hast lifted me up, and hast not made my enemies to rejoice over me. O Lord my God, I cried unto thee, and thou hast healed me. So think of that. It, we, we cry out to him for healing. We praise him for those healings. Uh, o Lord, thou hast brought up my soul from the grave. Thou hast kept me alive, that I should not go down to the pit. Sing unto the Lord, O ye saints of his, and give thanks to the remembrance of his holiness. So there's another one. Uh, it, we are to give thanks for his holiness, and that can happen at any time. It doesn't even matter what's going on in our lives. He is always holy and always worthy of great thanks. Verse number five, he goes on, he says, For his anger endureth for but a moment. In his favor is life weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. And so we're being reminded by David that, that we may have difficult times. There may be dark moments, dark seasons, but they're only but a moment. The joy of the Lord can return, but it returns because we rejoice in him. And so he goes on again and, and uh, says, And in my prosperity I said, I shall never be moved. Lord, by, my, by thy favor thou hast made my mountain to stand strong. Uh, thou didst hide thy face, and I was troubled. I cried unto thee, O Lord, and unto the Lord I made my supplication. What profit is there in my blood? Oh, and I go down to the, into the pit. Uh, shall the dust praise thee? Shall it declare thy truth? Hear, O Lord, and give mercy upon me, Lord. Be thou my helper. Thou hast turned for me my mourning into dancing. Thou hast put off my sackcloth and girded me with gladness to the end that my glory may sing praise to thee and not be silent. O Lord, my God, I will give thanks unto thee forever. And so we have this reminder from David that in all circumstances we need to praise the Lord. Uh, we praise the Lord through the difficult times so that we remember in the moment that it changes that it was the Lord that changed it. We praise the Lord in the good times so that we don't forget what he's done for us. Uh, see, I think that we have a habit of praising the Lord and, and, and worshiping the Lord when we want something. But the Bible tells us that we need to praise the Lord at all times because his holiness is always present. He is always completely holy. And so we need to remember that. He is always doing something for us, even if we don't recognize it. Some of those things he's doing, we don't like because he's correcting. Some of those things he's doing, uh, we don't like because he's shaping us and preparing us. And we don't like the preparation part. Uh, think about working out when you want to see a, a certain uh, physical strength appearance. We don't like the pain of the workout, but we love the results. We don't like the struggle of a diet, but we love the results. We don't, we don't like the things that bring the results, but we need to praise the Lord because God knows what he's doing. Some of the things we cause in ourselves, yet God sees us through them. And so just keep that in mind today as you go about your day find ways to praise the Lord. Let's always praise the Lord. Let's rejoice in him always because he's always worthy. I hope that helps you have a great day.